Welcome to step two. Here you will learn about the effects of map changes on flood insurance and options that you have. Hopefully, in step one, you are able to identify your flood risk. So this step will discuss how to reduce your flood risk through flood insurance. As you scroll down this page, you will first find four general scenarios on how your flood risk may change and what insurance rating option would apply to help reduce any financial impact. Just click on the scenario that applies to you. If you want more information about the different effects, you can scroll down next and watch a short video that explains in more detail each of those scenarios. There is also a description of the different flood zones if you are unfamiliar with the flood zone designations. In Florida, where it can rain, it can flood. To help understand the importance of flood insurance in recovering after a flood, click on the Cost of Flooding tool to see how damaging just a few inches of water can be. At in-person open houses, we get many questions about flood insurance related to map changes. You will find eight frequently asked questions and their answers next. Finally, we have provided useful fact sheets and brochures about flood insurance for you to download and read. If you need more information about flood insurance, please contact your insurance agent. If you have questions about the flood maps after visiting the different steps, please let us know. You can visit the schedule and appointment page to either leave us a message or, if your community is at the open house phase of the mapping project, you can book a virtual meeting with our team. Please visit step 3 next and learn about what options are available for proposing a change to a flood map if you disagree with how your flood risk is changing.